what the viewers didn't hear there was Tom just said to me, unfortunately, I was bottle fed as a child. So that's Tom Caravan. Sure, Tom Caravan. Tom, Tom, Tom. Do you come from a, a Mother's Day on Sunday? Do you come from a long family of professional drinkers? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it may look like that, but the fact is, no, my mum and dad were more or less teetotal. More or less. More like or it. less. I've trained them to enjoy a small so glass of something. Where did you come from then? I have no idea. It's a mystery. <laughs> it's a mystery. All right, Tom, what have you got for us this week? Three bottles, which um, I think are perfect Mother's Day wines, because they're good to either take round and share with your mum, or give us a gift, because they're all really, really nice, easy drinking wines. Okay. We're going to start off with a pink one with a rosy, and we're starting with a nice dry rosy. This is the Tagus Creek. This is your first glass. Tagus Creek Rosé 2009 from Portugal. It's £5.99 in Asda. And if you have a little sniff of this one, it's got that lovely dry red currant cherry, kind of raspberry fruit, lots of lovely red berry fruit in that. And take a sip, it's a dry wine. Oh, very dry. It is, it's a food wine, really. Not this what I'd expect from a rosy at all. No, this is in the dry style. It comes from Portugal and they tend to make quite food friendly mm. wines. That's a great strength of Portuguese wines really is that they're, it's all about gastronomy, you know, it's about having the wine with really nice food. So this is great with anything kind of grilled. It's really good for barbecues. I know it's not quite the weather for it, but it's a really versatile, nice, almost red wine, a darker rosy. It's a hot place for wine at the moment in Portugal, isn't it? Hot place for Wine, really, Stephen. I mean, the Portuguese have their own grapes. This is a blend of one called Toriga Nacional, which is a Portuguese grape, mm -hmm. with the Shiraz grape, which we all know. So you get the mix of the Portuguese plus a kind of international yeah. grape to make a wine that's got lovely freshness but really nice kind of savoury qualities too. Okay. I like it, but I would need it a tiny bit mm. sweeter. Just a tiny bit, not too a bit, sweet. A well, listen, as well, five ninety nine in Asda. Well, it is a dry one, but the next one is a complete change of change of pace. It's another pink, but this one is a lot sweeter. This is the Brown Brothers Moscato Rosa 2009. Good one for Mother's Day, this oh, one. Perfect for Mother's it's Day. really fragrant. Isn't yeah. it beautiful? It's made from the Muscat grapes, Stephen. Comes from Australia. This one is £6.49 in Waitrose. Doesn't even taste Waitrose. alcoholic. Well, listen, it's only got 7% alcohol in it. It's got the very faintest spritz, but it's got lovely strawberry fruit. It's like strawberries and cream. Very easy to drink. It is you know, partly between lemonade and wine, but it's got that <laughs> ah, lovely freshness, it. lovely softness. This is the one I picked for my mum. The tea total. How much? She's, <laughs> how much is it? Oh, it's six forty nine. Maybe yeah. I should go pick me, you know, make pay a visit someday. You from. should. She'd love that. You she'd should love that. <laughs> she'd, make you, she'd make you very welcome. Oh, okay. Uh, six forty nine in Waitrose, which is uh, I think is a good deal for a really lovely summery wine. Do you know, you can imagine it on a summer's afternoon sitting drinking this outside, can't you? Perfect. As well. It's lovely. fragrant. It's got floral like notes as well, Stephen. It's light, so you know, perfect for lunchtime drinking mm. and really good. With desserts, but also good with them um, as an aperitif to drink yeah. in its own. No, it's lovely, good very nice. Easy drinking, I think, you know. Last but not we least. We love a bit of live popping. A on the bit of live We hour. go through a strangely large amount of champagne in this show, yeah, don't we? I don't, why, I don't know. Listen, why. I don't know. I've got a April Fool's Day. We've been shaking that up for 25 minutes, so I hope it's ready. Ah, I don't believe you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> well, would there's you? only one way to find out. Well, listen, this. Stand back the shelf. Oh. Oh. No, we wouldn't do that. A wee round of applause for Tom now. That was, that was so professional. wonderfully open. Yeah, thank you. That was that's always a tense moment when you've got to open a bottle live. Listen, there's loads of champagne deals around just now. Every time there's an occasion, Christmas, Easter, whatever, we get lots of discounts on champagne in the shops. And people always wonder whether they're genuine discounts and whether they're genuinely worth the money. So what I've got for us this week is one that I think is very good, down from 25 to £15. And at £15, it's a great bottle of wine. It's the Champagne des Roches from France, obviously, from the Champagne region. And it's currently £15 in Marks & Spencers. But get your nose into that glass and it's got lovely hints of oh, kind of brioche and toast, lovely lemony fruit, fresh apples too, I think, lovely kind of crunch to it. And if you have a wee sip... Nice. Lovely. Nice champagne. Quite sophisticated, quite subtle the flavours of it, quite dry, but not too dry. You know, again, it's just quite a nice, easy drinking champagne. That's really good value, isn't it? Good, isn't it? At 25, I would say it was a decent oh. buy. At 15, I would be stocking up in a couple of bottles, you know, for, for special occasions coming up. Good. A poppy strawberry in that, Tom? Lovely for the summer, for making cocktails as well. For a key, it would be great, a great base for it too, because it's not, it's quite a fresh okay, well, style. Okay, well, you can see some there, you're away. In terms of your eating, I think you said last week when we did the carry-out food, 
champagne and fish and chips. That's your top You want to talk about last week again, don't you? The no, I don't, I don't want to talk about that at all. You do. Test out the theory with a bottle of this. Have it with your fish stuff, and it works. It's magic. Also great with Chinese food because it's got that wee hint of being off dry. Okay. And just lovely to drink. For you, Mum, Michelle, what was your favourite? What do you think she would like? Oh, I think she'd like the bubbly. The bubbly. Only the best mm. for Mrs. McManus. Well, I, I, I've got to say though, that what second rosy was really nice. Actually, it isn't it lovely? Really it's a summer summertime easy banker, drinking. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's next time with you? Tom? Next time I'm not back. I'm back in a fortnight. Oh, you're oh, not right here next week. Have we go? You're going to have to go with Andy Gemmell. Oh, that's all right, Tom. We'll see you next. We'll cocktail. see you next week. It's all right, but it's nothing special. Well, <laughs> and, uh, I, I would disagree slightly. <laughs> <laughs> and in a fortnight's time, uh, we're going to be doing some Easter wines, of course, because oh, it's lovely. Easter next weekend. So Don't worry, it's... Tom. will be faithful to you. We'll just you tolerate Andy. Don't worry. See you when you get back. Okay. Thank you, Tom. For all the information on Tom's wines. Never